Michael Quander has more in today's area codes. Well, Bruce, first and foremost, this year will look different from any other season we've seen before. Of course, we may not see the fans in the stands. We have expanded playoffs and only 60 games. The last time the country was in the middle of a pandemic was 1918, and that was during the Spanish flu. But let's just say science at the time was not quite what we have now. Owners were more concerned, actually, about how World War I would affect the game than the flu. So they agreed to shorten the season to 130 games and finish the World Series about one month early in September, just, just in case players were drafted. Uh, now, as local veteran broadcaster and uh, baseball historian Phil Woods explains, this virus is actually affecting the game much more than the Spanish flu. You know, from a timing standpoint, uh, the flu actually, I guess, came at a good time for baseball because it didn't have the same kind of impact it would have had had it arrived three months earlier. So what about this year? How can they get through two months of baseball, sharing a clubhouse and traveling from ballpark to ballpark? I'm not convinced that they're going to finish this 60 game schedule. Um, you know, we hear Juan Soto has tested positive and uh, and I'm surprised that it's only one guy. I mean, obviously, he's in the same clubhouse with everybody else. Um, but you're going to see other teams lose key players to infections, and they'll go through the whole quarantining bit. Uh, when all is said and done, I just don't think baseball historians will look at this season as being really representative of anything more than a gimmick. Uh, a, 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 basically, we, we made the best of a horrible s situation. Well, after tonight's game, only time will tell if they'll be able to finish the other 59 games. But the Nationals are definitely gearing up to defend their championship, even if it's a shortened season. We'll be right back.